Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB Performance. Today's topic is Chelsea and England youngster and potential star Caleb Hudson Odoi, who ruptured the Achilles tendon on April 22nd during Chelsea's 2 2 draw against Burnley when he landed awkwardly and then limped off the field. Two days later, he underwent a successful surgery to repair the tendon in which the torn part of the tendon was reattached. The Achilles tendon itself is a cord like structure that sits on the back of your leg, connecting the calf to the heel. It plays a major role in numerous football movements, including running, jumping, landing, kicking, and acceleration. Accordingly, it's no surprise that footballers have some of the highest rates of Achilles tendon problems, including Achilles ruptures. It typically occurs in older players rather than younger players, like Calum, who's only 18 years old. That being said, the tendon takes on so much stress it's actually the strongest tendon in the body for a reason. The rehab and return to play process is significantly longer than most tendon injuries, regardless of age. Fortunately for Calum, the return to play timeline and post-injury performance outcomes have improved significantly in recent years. What used to be a one year to 18 month recovery process with highly questionable post-injury performance has now become a six to nine month process with the majority of footballers returning and being able to get back to their pre-injury levels within roughly two years of returning. In concordance with that, Chelsea has given roughly a six month timeline for his return, which would put that return in late October. A recent example of an Achilles rupture and return was Arsenal captain Laurent Koscielny, who suffered the injury at the age of 33 and was still able to make it back within six months, and he's played quite well this season. Or that might just be a reflection of Arsenal's other center back options. Uh, Mustafi, uh, oh, excuse me. However, I always err on the side of caution when returning from a major injury because there's a natural reacclimation period, both mentally and physically, that has to take place on the field and getting over fear of re-injury or movement, also known as kinesiophobia, which is well documented as being one of the last things to return. Further, although Achilles tendon re-rupture rates are relatively low, research does show that an Achilles rupture can cause muscle atrophy and side-to-side -side deficits for up to two years post-injury, opening the player up to compensatory injuries on the other leg or other injuries on the same leg. DeMarcus Cousins' recent quadriceps tear on the same leg as the Achilles rupture comes to mind. Lastly, there's a few unique factors at play for Caleb as well. Firstly, with younger players recovering from injury, you really have to pace their rehab and make sure they're not doing way too much way too soon. It's like being a Sherpa guiding a young upstart who wants to quickly walk up Mount Kilimanjaro without understanding the very real risk of oxygen deprivation. Secondly, Caleb has made no secret about his desire to leave Chelsea this summer, so he might be pressed to try and rush back and assure potential teams that he's still the same player. Overall, I fully expect him to make a full recovery and be able to get back to his pre-injury level and keep improving. With what team? That I can't tell you. There are some key precautions that need to be taken and he needs to be brought along slowly and understand that coming back is a natural up and down process. To that point, he's already shown a very positive growth mindset that is focused on the rehab as a challenge rather than as a deflating setback. That mindset has a domino effect that can influence recovery significantly, and we're seeing more and more research bear that out. Personally, what I'll really be interested to see is how his body responds in the longer term, five to seven years, because we so rarely see Achilles ruptures in elite athletes this young. That does it for this video. You can always find me on social media on Instagram or Twitter at 3CB Performance. Thanks for watching and definitely like, comment, share, and sub to the channel. 3CB out.